Hi, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. If you haven't, I'm Gemma, I talk about books and today I have the November Abominable Book Club package. So the first thing out as usual is a lovely bookmark. Can never have too many of these. I've got ton of these just lying around the house now so whenever I start a new book I can just grab a bookmark from anywhere. So then the first book out is You Can Stay by L. Connell. I am not familiar with this one at all, I have not heard of this author or this book. Someone is hunting Connor, alone, freezing, in the wilderness of Bodmin Moor on an elite special forces training exercise. He'd be a fool to scorn the kindness of a local stranger, wouldn't he? At first, Eilid seems like an impeccable host. She offers Connor food and a warm bed. He finds it nearly impossible to leave her charming farmhouse. But the choice isn't his to make. There have been others before. None, though, as perfect as him. Why would she let him leave? intriguing. Um, so it's definitely a thriller. I'm loving the vibes, I'm loving the whole isolated location. I don't think I've read anything actually set on Bodmin Moor, so I don't know a huge amount about that area, but this one definitely sounds interesting. So the next book we have is Ghost Written by Ronald Malfi. And it says, four novellas, books can be deadly. From the best-selling author of Come With Me, four standalone horror novellas set in a shared universe. A cursed novel drives people to their deaths in Skin of Her Teeth. A delivery job turns deadly in The Dark Brother's Last Ride. This book belongs to Olo, sees a child wielding dangerous control over an unusual pop-up book. A choose-your-own-adventure game spirals into uncanny reality in the story. So this is obviously a collection. I have actually read Come With Me by Ronald Ralphie and even though it was described as a horror, I personally felt that it was more of a crime thriller with a sort of supernatural element to it. I didn't think it was a horror so I'm really intrigued to read something by him that is specifically described as a horror and novellas. I, I really like comparing short stories and novellas to long-form novels with writers. I think some can do both absolutely brilliantly. There are some writers for me who they're better as novelists than they are as short story writers and then some who it works the other way around. So I'm really intrigued to get to this at some point. I also have a copy of Bone White by him that I have not read yet and I'm hoping to get to that at some point as well. So then we have the mystery book, which is always the fun part of the package. The hardest part is always getting it open because I've never got any scissors with me. Okay, so in this one I have got Spirit by Graham Masterton. I have not read anything by him and I have not heard of this specific book. When little Peggy Buchanan drowns in the icy waters of the family swimming pool, the sisters, Elizabeth and Laura, find their lives changed forever. Peggy may be dead, but she hasn't left them. As the sisters grow up, a string of inexplicable deaths baffle police and medics alike. No matter how warm the weather, each corpse suffers severe frostbite, and each victim's dying moments are tortured by a merciless small girl in a white dress whose icy kiss is colder than death. The deeper Elizabeth delves, the more she fears that the girl is Peggy, hideously recreated through their childhood story, the Snow Queen. And unless the nightmare can be halted, 
Peggy will destroy everyone close to them. Well, that sounds creepy. Um, kids, always creepy. It sounds like the perfect winter read. Definitely something for a cold night, wrapped up in a big jumper and blankets and hot drinks. But it actually sounds really good. Three books in this month's Abominable Book Club package. And I'm really pleased with all three of them. I can definitely imagine myself reading them all and hopefully enjoying them all. Great fun. So if you get the Abominable Book Club subscription, let me know in the comments what your mystery book was and whether or not you're looking forward to reading it. I shall see you in another video pretty soon, hopefully. Bye.